two weeks to two hours. We can basically do everything you want in one platform. Honestly, wish I could put one in my garage. Let's make more parts. It's almost difficult to get your head around just how much technology is packed into these machines. They look very nice and sleek from the outside, but the amount of technology under the hoods of these machines is hard to get your head around. One thing that always shocks me is these machines not only look amazing, but they perform at the absolute top level. When you get under the hood of these machines, they try to pack as much technology as possible into these small footprints. This is our LaserTech 3000 DED hybrid, similar platform to our 125, that one's a vertical, this one's a horizontal. Uh, with the lathe platform, it really enables us to do shafts and rotary parts a lot better than on the vertical machine. Most of the uh, machines that are out there can only do one thing, they can only remove that material. With our LaserTech series, we can put material back on or we can hard face and coat parts. It's a process that used to be two weeks of taking a part, roughing it on this machine, sending it out for heat treat, stress relief, bringing it back, finish machining it, setting it back out for chrome plating, then bringing it back for finishing. Two weeks, way too expensive. Now, we load a blank in this machine, rough it, weld on Stellite 6, semi-finish it and grind it in one machine, two hours. Add a robot to load it, we're producing 12 of these a day. Every single machine is gonna have one of those additively manufactured draw bars in it. Two weeks to two hours. Yeah, we can basically do everything you want in one platform. Process integration is really the name of the game right now. Bringing as many different technologies into one platform to make as versatile of a product as we can to open up brand new manufacturing methods. We've basically taken the design of the NLX first generation and improved everything in pretty much every regard. Coolest feature I'd say would definitely be our built-in motor turrets. Um, it has been DMG Mori's uh, patent design for the longest time. Having that extra direct torque from the motor turret as well, um, getting a higher speed, higher torque out of that. Any operator, any machinist, any uh, supplier or tool maker or anything that's trying to run, uh, having that versatility to be able to run whatever you want to in whatever capacity, it really opens up the machining gap. What are you checking out here today? I came to the DMG Mori show today to check out the uh, specifically the Siemens controls. I'm a big fan of the Siemens control. This obviously has the new Cinemeric 1 controls. If you could pick up any one machine here, put it in your pocket and then take it home with you, which machine would it be? 60 Evo over there. Big fan of that machine. It's linear, super fast. I wish I could put one in my garage. Definitely the CTX Beta 450. The new Siemens Numeric 1 control, full five axis, simultaneous mill turn. I mean, you got to go with that. It doesn't get any all better. Day, right? All day. The other thing you got to check out here is there's always so much brand new technology that it can almost feel a little overwhelming when you walk in. So what we're going to do is go try to find out a little bit more about some of these machines on display here at DMG Mori Innovation Days 2025. Let's take a look. Now, Dan, although these machines keep getting more and more technologically advanced, one thing I'm kind of learning today is they're getting a lot simpler to run than many people realize. Absolutely. In this uh, instant, we have two path control. The lower turret was doing something and the upper turret's doing something. At any point in time, we can hit the reset button, open up the control. And what happens to most customers with two path machines, in previous years, what most people will have to do is find the weight codes because the weight codes is what's telling the machine what it can and can't do at those specific times. What DMG Morris has developed is the structure program that basically comes over here, we hit the reset button, we come up to rewind on head one, come over, rewind on head two, and we just hit the green button and it homes out, but then continues where it left off. So let's say I decided to panic, I had to hit that button, I'm not losing that part now. I'm Absolutely. right back where I was. We make it so uh, elementary on starting and stopping the machine and it's very user friendly. At the end of the day, you can pack as much technology into these things as you want, but if the people can't run them, there's no point. Absolutely. In this case, we're uh, showcasing the gear milling software demonstration and we developed our own gear milling software. Here right now is the uh, gear milling software, milling a double helical gear milling a spiral bevel, a straight helical, and, and also a um, single helical gear. And we have all of the uh, 
Um, the pitch, the addendum, the dedendum, all of that is built into the software. So on this Tech 125, we are debuting a brand new feature that is the Scan 3D. This is a in-machine scanner that lets us map and qualify our parts in the machine. You can map your part, create a CAD model right here on the control, export that to your CAM system, generate your repair toolpath, bring it back here, weld new material on, and finish machine it all on one platform. So you're doing not only making new stuff, you're being able to fix stuff if something went wrong elsewhere. Similar to a ferro arm or a GOM scanner, right here on the machine, controlled with the CNC as if it was an end mill. So even someone like me could do it. What's really exciting about this for me is closing the loop on the process, right? You've worked in a lot of places, so have I, where you make a part, right? And the machinists, the application engineers, they make it as well as they can, and they go set, send it off to quality. And it could sit there, depending on the quality control department, for weeks. We've got here with the Scan 3D is the ability to first program our part in, in our case, in NX. You execute the scan path and you get a deviation analysis, which is basically just based off of a tessellated mesh or an STL. In our case, we're going to laser weld right onto that uh, surface that needs repair. It's just a tool change to come back to the subtractive ability to machine that back down to nominal. And again, it's another simple tool change to bring that back again to scan that part again. And the, the, the feedback loop here is instead of taking the part out of the machine, sending it to quality, six weeks later you get it back and you're like, man, I've got to locate this part again, I've got to start over again, I don't even remember this part. But now it doesn't come out of the machine until the machinist or the application engineer is ready for it. Additive is, uh, is the name of the game for me personally, right? right? I think you've already talked to our team about uh, SLM. Uh, powder bed fusion. Our new Davis machine is designed and assembled in the United States. That's huge for us. Uh, really excited about that. How it's got the ring mode laser that can print up to three times faster as a, as a single laser system. The price point and specifically the cost per part is incredible. the itch of every scratch because that's what we're trying to do. What are you having problems with? We're developing technology cycles, we're developing hobbing, we're developing new features on machines that actually make it a lot easier for us to run and a lot easier for the business owner. Any operator, any machinist, any uh, supplier or tool maker or anything that's trying to run, uh, having that versatility to be able to run whatever you want to in whatever capacity, it really opens up the machining. For me, it's just getting back on track of, of, of reshoring, bringing manufacturing back to this country, or, or in your case, this continent, right? Um, I, I think uh, we were talking earlier and you, you said your shop's busy. Yeah. I love hearing that shops are busy. So to me, it's just, it's just let's get back to work. Let's make more parts. That's, that's the part that I'm most excited about.